It's Umsum time! Why do we love junk food? Cause it looks cool, bro. Nah. We love junk food because manufacturers oh. design it to activate our ah. brain's reward system. They create the perfect combination of salt, sugar, spices, etc., which excite our ah. taste buds, thus activating our brain's reward system, making us ah. feel good. Now, after this, when we eat regular food, as it doesn't uh -huh. activate the reward system, it ah. feels less appealing. Besides this, if we compare these foods, the quantity of healthy food looks uh -huh. more, right? Ah. But surprisingly, they both contain the same number of calories. What? Yes. Now, since healthy food also contains fiber and water, they add up to the volume, thus filling our stomach. But, as the junk food doesn't have enough water and fiber, it doesn't fill us. So, we keep eating and thus end up consuming more calories, leading to obesity, diabetes, oh. etc. Mm. <laughs> what is a stroke? Huh? It is a new style of haircut. No! Through a complex system of arteries, <laughs> our brain gets a continuous supply of oxygen and nutrients oh. with the help of blood. The cells of our brain alone use more than 20% of oxygen in our blood. Hence, if the blood doesn't reach the brain cells, they can begin to die, thus giving us a stroke. The most common stroke mm. is ischemic stroke. Ischemic strokes occur when the arteries supplying blood to the brain get blocked. Like the roads get blocked in a traffic jam, right? Indeed. Due to bad lifestyle choices and stress, oh. fats and cholesterol huh? gradually start building up in the arteries and thus narrow them. Hmm. If this buildup ruptures, a clot may form blocking the complete artery. As a result, the oh. brain cells begin to die due to lack of oxygen and nutrients, thus giving us an ischemic stroke. <laughs> what is an allergy? Huh? It is a magic spell! No. <laughs> Allergy is an overreaction of our immune system to usually harmless substances like peanuts, milk, pollen, etc. These substances are called allergens. Our immune system has white blood cells or lymphocytes which protect us from foreign invaders such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, etc. These invaders are called antigens. When a lymphocyte detects an antigen, it produces antibodies. Antibodies destroy antigens and thus protect us. <laughs> now, if an allergen such as pollen is oh. inhaled by an allergic person, the lymphocytes of the allergic person for unknown reasons think that the allergen is an antigen. Hence, lymphocytes overreact and produce antibodies which start attacking the allergen. Besides this, as a protective response, some immune cells also trigger production of excess mucus, resulting in running nerves. They even give uh. rise to itching throat and watery eyes, thus causing an allergy. Hmm. How do igloos keep you warm? Uh -huh. I'm a little busy, so I'll tell you later. Alright, I'll explain. <laughs> Heat is a form of energy present in our oh. body. When the temperatures around us are low, we begin to lose heat. Oh. The more we lose heat, the colder we feel. Now, although igloos are made up of blocks huh? of compressed snow, they keep us warm. Oh, stop bluffing, how's that possible? Compressed snow has air trapped in it and air is a bad conductor of heat. Hence, the heat given off by our body does not get lost from the igloo. It stays in the igloo, thus keeping us warm. <laughs> Besides this, we know that warm air rises oh. up and cold air sinks to the bottom. <laughs> Hence, during night, Eskimos, that is, people living in igloos oh. sleep at the uppermost part of the igloo to stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> what causes wrinkles? Uh. A witch's potion. Nah. Our skin consists of two important proteins called collagen and elastin. Collagen keeps our skin oh. firm and tight, while elastin gives our skin flexibility and elasticity. It allows our skin to stretch, <laughs> twist, and contract. Oh. Just like an elastic rubber band, right? Absolutely. But as we age, our skin produces less collagen and elastin. Hence, our skin no longer remains firm. It begins to lose oh. elasticity. As a result, our skin droops, thus causing wrinkles. Hmm. Moreover, there are some factors that can cause early wrinkling. One of them is UV radiation of the sun. 
Long-term exposure to UV radiation can cause collagen and elastin to break down faster than normal, thus causing wrinkles in early age. Besides this, smoking and poor nutrition may also contribute to early wrinkling. Hmm.